Welcome to the testing world. In this session, I'll show you how we can search issues in Jira. So we have a section over here as issues and we have the option of search for issues. We can click on this and first of all, it will list all the issues as list in your current project. So in my current project, all the projects on which I'm assigned, these all the defects which are already listed over there. We have few filters on the left hand side like you want to see what all the issues which you have reported. So we can go to reported by me and it will display a list of all the issues which are reported by you. And as we click on any issue, it will give complete information about that issue as well. One more filter that is default available over here like recently viewed. So it will display all the tickets which you have recently opened. So it is showing all the defects which is recently opened by you. Now I'll show you few filters. Like as I told you, one person can work on a multiple projects. So all the projects on which you are assigned displayed over here. And as of now, it displays the complete list of all these three projects. It will give me list of all the issues which belong to all these three projects. But I want to see the list of any specific project. We can just select a particular project. So I want to select like this one. So as we click on the particular project, it will list all the issues which are related to that project only. So we have seen how we can filter issues on the behalf of project. Also, we have like types. We have different type of issues over here. It could be bug. It could be epic. It could be task story. As of now, it displays all the issues. Doesn't matter. It's a bug or task or epic. So it could be anything. So if you want to see only bugs, go over here and I'm just selecting bugs. So it will display only bugs. We can have different status of the tickets. It could be new, it could be open, it could be closed. So if you want to filter on the behalf of status, so you can go over here and we can select any of the status. Like I'm selecting the status which is closed. Show me only the bugs which are closed. I'm not getting any issues. So I'm just selecting like open, tell me open issues. So here we are getting again a list of issues which are opened. We can also filter issues by its assignee. So we can select any value from here. Like I want to select all the issues which are assigned to these persons. So either you can select from the suggest user or you can search it from here. Like we have two different users. So I want to select this second one and no issues assigned to this. So I'm just selecting the first one and it will show all the issues which are assigned to that particular person. So here we have seen we can filter issues by using project filter issue type filter like it's a bug or epic or task status of the bug. So we can filter on the behalf of that. We can filter by assignee like it is assigned to a particular person. And also we have contains text. So I am just removing all these filters and so I have removed all these filters. We can search any issues by its text. So like I want to search any issues. It could be bug. It could be task in which we are getting login word. So I'm just writing login and click on this search icon. So it, it display all the issues in which we are getting login. These are the basic set of filters which we can use to, to search any issue. If you want to search issues on the other filters because we can have many components on the behalf of that we can make search. So if you want, you can go to the more and like I want to search a filter with the priority and that priority is added in this toolbar and you can check like high priority bugs I want to search. So here we can we have two items with the high priority. Here we can check the priority is high. So we have seen 
all the available options that we are getting here on the toolbar for filtering or searching an issue. It could be bug, it could be task, it could be anything which is supported by the Jira. So that's all we have for this session. Thanks for watching this video.